The VLOOKUP is a powerful function in Microsoft Excel that allows Excel to search vertically down a column of information for a specific criteria. Then when it finds it, look across the row and find an answer in a different column. So for example, let's say that we had a manager who wanted to know the sales amount for the Southwest region. If I were to look for that on my own, I would start in column A, looking through my regions vertically until I found the region Southwest. Then I would look across the row until I get to my amount column and find the sales amount of 41. And that's what I would return back to my manager as the answer. And that's essentially what VLOOKUP is doing. So let's look at how we create a VLOOKUP function in Excel. Like all of our functions, VLOOKUP begins with an equal sign followed by the name of the function. In this case, V for vertical, lookup. And then in parentheses, the information it needs for its search. A VLOOKUP needs four pieces of information to complete its search. First, it needs the criteria we're searching for. Then it needs the range the information is contained in. And finally, it needs the column where it can find the answer. And then we end with the word false. So let's start with our search criteria. In our example, we were searching for the region southwest in order to find the amount of sales. So our search criteria would be the words southwest. And we can put these in quotation marks because anytime we use text in an Excel function, we always include that text inside quotation marks. Next, we need to know the range where we're going to go searching for the word Southwest. So we were looking in column A in our regions for Southwest. So column A would be part of our range. However, in a VLOOKUP, the range must contain not only what we're searching for, but also the answer that we want returned. And in our example, we wanted the amount of sales as our answer, which is in column C. So our range for our VLOOKUP would need to include both the regions in column A and the amounts in column C, so that both the search criteria and the answer are contained within the same range. So our range would look something like A1 to C5 so that the regions and the amounts are both contained in the same range. Now that we have our range, we need to tell VLOOKUP which column in that range contains the answer we're looking for. And as we said before, that answer is in column C. However, a VLOOKUP doesn't want to know the letter of the column. It wants to know the number of the column relative to the range that it's in. So how we have to find that is start at the very left side of our range and count our columns in until we get to our answer. So we would start at A, which is our region where we began our range, and then count 1, 2, and 3. So A becomes column 1, B becomes column 2, C becomes column 3. So our information is contained in column 3, or the third column in our range. And so in the column area of our VLOOKUP, I would put the number 3 to indicate that our answers we're looking for are the third column in our range. And then we would end with the word false. Every VLOOKUP ends with either the word true or false. And true or false change the way that a VLOOKUP does its searching. Now, understanding the specifics of what true and false does goes beyond our introduction to advanced functions in Excel. In later classes, you may learn the specific differences between true and false. But for now, just know that for purposes of this class and with most of your VLOOKUPs, you're going to finish the VLOOKUP with the word false. So with that said, we now have our VLOOKUP function built. Let's take a look at what this would look like in Microsoft Excel. So here we have our Microsoft Excel spreadsheet with the table we were working with before. And in B15, we're going to create our VLOOKUP. So we would begin with the equal sign and the name of our function, VLOOKUP. And then we would open a parenthesis. Now the first piece of information it's looking for is our search criteria. And we decided that our search criteria were the words Southwest. So 
in quotations, I would put the word southwest and then a comma. The next piece of information it needs is the range that we're going to search in. And we decided that we would be searching in A1 to C5 so that both our regions and our amounts are contained within that range. Press comma. The next piece of information it wants to know is which of the columns of that range contains our answer. So we would start at the left of our range and count in our columns. One, two, three. The amounts, which is our answer, are the third column in our range. So I would put the number three in my function, comma, and end with the word false. Close my parentheses, and when I hit enter, what the VLOOKUP does is search down through column A until it finds the region southwest and then moves over one, two, three columns in our range to find the 41, which is the amount of sales. And that's what returns as its answer. Now, one last thing that I want to show you with a VLOOKUP, in our criteria up to now, we've always used text. We use the text southwest to search for the southwest region. However, in addition to using just text, you can also use a cell to represent that search criteria. So for example, my cell C15 contains the word southwest already. So if I wanted to, I could delete my text and replace that with cell C15. And now, what my VLOOKUP will do is look at whatever value is in cell C15 and search for that in my range. And if I hit enter, I get the same 41. But the advantage of using a cell is, let's say that now instead of looking for southwest, I want to look for southeast. I can come to my cell C15 and change the word to say southeast, and when I hit enter, my VLOOKUP in B15 automatically changes to go searching for the amount of sales for the southeast region. So this allows you to quickly change your search criteria in a cell without having to go in and change your function every time. And that makes this a powerful tool to go searching for data inside of an Excel spreadsheet and return a quick and easy result. So now you know how to create a VLOOKUP function in Microsoft Excel.